let us discuss tubal factor infertility you know that the commonest indication for in vitro fertilization is unilateral or bilateral tubal block now if your tubal block is at the distal end means the end which is not connected to the uterus but at the other the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube then there would be a water accumulation in the fallopian tube the tubal muscle would distend and this water filled tube is known as a hydro salpings hydro meaning water salpings meaning tube now if this hydro salpings is opening into the uterus the water from the tube would keep draining into the uterus now remember in IVF we will be taking out the wife's eggs taking the husband's sperm fertilizing it in vitro making a human the embryo and putting it back into the uterine cavity but if you have this toxic fluid flowing in from the fallopian tube all the time it is likely that the embryos will be flushed out and you are unlikely to achieve a pregnancy it is a now known scientific fact that whenever there is a hydrosalpings seen on ultrasound or on hysterosalpingography or at laparoscopy it needs to be removed and it is very important for you as a patient to stress to the gynecologist that if he or she sees a hydrosalpings they should please go ahead and remove it and if they can't remove it because of some adhesions or because of some previous surgeries they should at least clip the end of the tube where it is connected to the uterus so that this water stops draining into the uterine cavity